that when combined with some level geometry allows you to do some really wicked things like this. So we just jump up, we do that, we get it in first time, away we go. But I need to count to 11 there and counting to 11 is hard. Get through that one, what about this one? Is it gonna let me through? Oh my God, it let me through, let's go! That is a wall that is thick with three C's. We just got a 40-10. We are 11 seconds away from sub 40. It's time for story mode. It's time for trip. It's time for a Sonic Superstars legend to happen. Three, two, one, let's go. So welcome to Sonic Superstars as Trip here. We are playing this brand new 2D Sonic game, so it is go right to win as Trip the Sun Gazer Lizard. She's a new character joining the team here, joining the series. We are going to be running our way through. She has the ability to double jump. She has the ability to climb walls. She has the ability to stick onto ceilings, but more about all that as we go through. Right now, the main thing we're doing is using our speed shoes here to try and leg it through the stage as quickly as we can while not falling off the edge and not making big messes of it, but we'll see how this turns out at the end of the day. So far, it seems to be going pretty well, so I ain't going to complain on that. So we're going to run and double jump our way through. Just keep going, get a baby jump on that section, fall down here, run our way through onto this section, take the speed shoes down. Do I still have the speedy shoes on that? I think I just ran out, which is unfortunate. But we're on to our first chase sequence here. As I say, Trip has the ability to double jump. We use that to our advantage in a lot of things. She also has the ability to stick to walls, just like Knuckles, but with the added ability of also sticking to ceilings that we are going to use significantly to our advantage. On top of that, this is a new game plus run, which means she already has all the Chaos Emeralds, which means she can go into her super form and she can use one of the most overpowered Emerald abilities, Bullet. More on those later. But with this being New Game Plus, we are going to do the spin dash and go and grab 50 rings ASAP by jumping our way up here and then using the gimmick of this stage alongside the speed shoes, which is uh, run across these and grab those. So we want to grab as many of these rings in that as we can. This allows us to try and get as many different shiny things to run our way through the stage with here. So we jump on that, we run through that, that's fine. I jump over here, we don't want to fall down the very bottom, but this is fine because what I do is I just do this. It gives me enough speed to get back up. Get that, get that, get that. That gives me rings and gives me a thing. It's fine. It's not going to be super fast, but it also means that I'm not losing the run immediately, which is good. The reason we want to do this is because we want to grab Trip's dragon form, which is her super form and is ridiculously overpowered. So now that we are dragon Trip, I'm going to give you a preview of just how broken she is before we explain anything. So have a look at this. So away she goes, up above the ground. She's got a massive speed boost now, and there's a wall there, but uh, we don't like walls, so um, we're just going to bash our head against it a few times until finally that happens and she drops down. That is a trip clip into a trip zip into the boss skip. So the way this works is simple. Trip's geometry when she transforms or when she goes left against a ceiling somehow loses all geometry and allows you to break the collision and go wherever you like. We'll be using this in every single level going forward, including Speed Jungle 1 here. So Speed Jungle 1, it is grab 50 rings and use the speedy vines which is this stage's gimmick. So we're gonna use the speed vines here to leg it our way through this stage to try and grab all the rings that we need and then hopefully not fall down and leg it towards the end. I need to make sure I slow down to grab these three rings here. Once that's done, we double jump off this. We use the trip clip to get up to the top. We then use the trip clip to hopefully get in the ceiling, which will then allow me to use the zip which is the thing that gives us the super speed. Think of a zip in a classic game. The zip is similar on this one. It's being a butt right now. So we're going to go left and we're going to go up. This is going to allow us to go through this wall here. We're then going to drop ourselves down a little bit as we didn't get through that wall. I'm going to try and get ourselves on the zip. The problem is I can't see her on this one, which is really slow. So I need to press down just until we start getting the speed boost. Then we need to see if we're going to get through invisible walls two and three. There's invisible wall two. So if we can get through invisible wall two, there's two. Can we get through three as well? Can we get through the boss wall or are the boss walls all being butts? They're all being butts today. That is really unfortunate on this stage. The good news is it does allow me to just get over and through and then we get to just fall down and head towards the end of the stage. So unfortunately with the zip, although the zip gives us a massive boost of super speed, sometimes you are not guaranteed to get through the wall. Normally you can just bash your head against it and it will let you through. Other times the game just says not today and you have to go up and over. There are some levels where going up and over is really bad, though, because the walls are massive. So let's hope that this doesn't continue. That's the only little bit of RNG in the run here. 
So Speed Jungle Act 2 is more of the same. We got Speedy Vines in that, but we also have a Spotlight that is trying to reduce our vision here. Not a problem, though, because we know exactly where we're going. We know exactly what we need to do. We're going to run our way through. We're going to do the lip here. We're going to do a big old jump up this section, land on this section to get up the top here. Didn't quite let us get up the top there, so I'm just going to grab some of these rings and then leg it. We go over the other section here. We get the double jump on that section. Didn't give us a double jump. We've got 29 rings. We're a little bit raw in the ring count right now, but it's not the end of the world. We want to run and jump on this one. Grab two from here. Jump over that. Don't you? Don't get caught by them. We've got 41 rings as we jump over. This is more than enough. We're fine. We're going to run our way up here with a speedy boost. We're going to come through. We get 47. We come down here. We try and do the jump just to get the run there we then land on that instead that's fine i'm then going to double jump on this to get up here we're going to come up to the top charge ourselves ready make sure we spin that under the bonus stage so we don't go in and then do trip clip this allows us to break through ceiling number one ceiling number two we need to go a little bit left and then go up once we've got the little bit up there it should allow me to go in it's actually being a butt there we go am i on the position for it i was not so i'm gonna have to line myself back up to get the speedy zip again so I went a little bit too far down, so we're just going to have to go back on ourselves to get out of bounds. She's being a butt trip. Come on, darling, don't do this to me. There we go. We want to make sure we see a little bit of her toes, and then she gets the super speed. There we go. We now want to run as really fast as we can. There we go. We got through that one really quick, which was nice. We're now going to drop down out of the trees here, which should allow us to land immediately right on the capsule, finishing the stage. So unfortunately, our early game zips are not behaving, but that's all right, because that happens. It just it happens at times. Let's not worry about it. We're going to go into our next stage, though, and we're going to introduce you to Bullet, the Red Emerald Power. It is an eight-directional burst ability that, when combined with some level geometry, allows you to do some really wicked things like this. So we just jump up, we do that, we get it in first time. Away we go. We're now skipping the gimmick of the stage, which is the background layer. We are not going to go to the background layer at all. As you can see over here, you're supposed to be in the background being pushed up by these fans that give you the wind. We ain't doing any of that. We are absolutely hoofing it through the stage instead. We're going to run, we're going to jump, we're going to double jump through, making sure we don't get caught by any of these enemies or any of these bullets. We're going to run and jump and then use the rest of this as well to get ourselves through here. We're going to go through, up, through, up, through, and in, making sure we wait for the level to transition to the storm section. Once we're in the storm section, we're going to navigate our way across here, making sure we know exactly where it is we want to go, and then landing on the platform here. This then allows me to get up here, which takes us to the wind, which takes us to the part where Trip is. We're then going to run towards the end here, jump, clip into the ceiling. As long as we are just slightly above the boss trigger, the boss never activates. Away we go. That is the stage complete, as long as I get a nice jump onto the capsule here. And boom, 5209 is wonderful. So that is another good stage there. That is what we like to see. So we're going to run our way through now onto our next stage. We are going into the Pinball Cannibal. Into the mid-game begins. Now the word carnival is in the name. That means it's going to be colorful. It's going to be beautiful. There's going to be bumpers galore. And hopefully we don't get drilled by any of them. But let's see how it goes. So we're going to land down here on the balloon. We're then going to come down. Use the bullet here once we get to the set of the rings. One, two, and then three. This allows us to just go over here. Get through. Try and not get caught by that. Even though that's exactly what just happened. I need to not get bullied by these too much. Make sure we don't get caught by the bats and then run our way through. We're going to go around this section. We're going to jump out of it. Make sure I don't get caught by that section because I do not want to get caught by that. We're then going to make sure we don't get caught by the seals or by the portal because the portal is slow. We then come down here. We jump once. We jump twice. We come through. We get over that. That's nice. I already have enough rings. So we're just going to flip ourselves up here. We're going to jump onto the wall and then we're going to do the trip clip once again. Straight up to the top of the level here. Trip clip. We cannot go to the other invisible ceiling because the invisible ceiling is just way too high and there's absolutely no point in doing that. There is no time save to be had with just how high it is. However, what we do have is we have a visual cue that allows us to skip the boss. That tower in the background there, it's middle platform. Once the right-hand side of that platform goes off the left-hand side of the screen, we can drop down and that will allow us to skip this stage's boss. Who said Dragon Form wasn't OP? Not me, she's very OP. As we run our way through now, we're going to come down, skipping over the boss entirely, and that is it. That is that done. We're now going to load into Pinball Carnival Act 2, which is arguably one of my favorite stages in the video game. We're going to have fun with roller coasters. We're going to have fun with momentum. And we're going to have fun with a lot of bumpers and that as well. You're going to make sure you do your menuing right. You do not want to go into any of the other optional stages because the optional stages are slow and do not offer any progression. So we land on the roller coaster. We prime our bullet. We prime our spin dash. When we're going on the upward side, we just jump up. We use the bullet. You see now that carries some of the momentum there on bullet once we transform, moving us forward. This now allows me to just go across here, which is fine. We're going to drop down, hopefully land in the area that I want to go to, which is not too bad there. We're just going to jump once. We're going to jump twice. That gives us in. Allows us to go over. And then the gimmick of this stage is fire. 
specifically red and blue flame. As long as you hit the right button, you will not be hit by the fire that comes out. So when blue is active, blue flame is active. When red is active, red flame is active. We want to get a jump out there. We didn't get a jump out there, but that's fine because what I can do is just about turn and away we go. Landing on this one, we managed to do get up on that one there. Sometimes slope jumps don't do what they want to do, but that's all right because we can handle it. Back on the roller coaster, I'm going to just bring out bullet just in case. We shouldn't need to use it. We're going to charge up a spin dash on this. Once it comes off, we run our way across. This gives us speed. Hi, Amy. Bye, Amy. We want to land on this, boost ourselves up, land on the ceiling, jump down, boost up here, land it, get the jump, and then transform. This allows us to break out of the collision here and then head up towards ceiling number one. Of course, this level is really tall, so you'll see the Eggman start to disappear off the screen as we head up to ceiling two. There's ceiling two there. Once we line ourselves up correctly, we immediately get the zip speed because you saw that the ceiling came into position for us and we get to leg it through. Can we get through the wall immediately or does it troll me? It is trolling me as it normally does. So we want to get through that one. What about this one? Is it going to let me through? Oh my God, it let me through. Let's go. That is a wall that is thick with three C's. I will bash my head off that wall five times. And then if after the fifth time I don't get through, we go up to the top, going through a very tall wall and then running away. But it let us through. That is going to be significant time save. That is good for us as we now have to go and stay hydrated. Mmm. That is very good there. That's a nice time to do for us. Welcome to Lagoon City, where we're going to be playing with some of the war on the water slides and the water spouts. The water slides are fantastic because they give us a massive amount of rings here that we want to take full advantage of. And then we're just going to run away with the rest of the water guns as we get to just enjoy ourselves. So we're going to go through, we're going to go in, we're going to go all the way up to the top right now. I accidentally grabbed that, which I didn't want to do. That's going to give me a whole bunch of rings, but we don't need any of them because as much as we want to get Super Trip, it's actually faster to run this stage with Normal Trip. Because while Super Trip has amazing skips that she can do, her basic movement is actually, unfortunately, quite slow. So we're just going to run our way through the stage here as Normal Trip until we get to the ceiling that we inevitably want to clip through because you know it's coming. So we're just going to double jump off this. That should get me straight through that one. That's nice. Not falling down this time. We roll our way through. Takes us on past the clouds. Roll our way down. And then it's dragon time. So we're going to just drag in our way through here. Onto the corner here. Get up to the star. Once we get to the star, we hold up and right. This means we don't go back inbounds. It allows us to get up to the top of the level. We're then going to run away here. And you see the item in the background there. But as close as to the foreground, that light gray building. We want to line up Trip's tail with the left-hand side of that. So once that happens there, we can then drop down. This allows us to know that we've escape the boss arena but we're not quite out of bounds that allows us to land straight on the checkpoint and away we go so now we're going to change gears ever so slightly because remember those optional stages you keep seeing me doing the menuing for amy's one is not optional amy's one is mandatory so we are now doing a mandatory amy stage here but thankfully amy is also very fun to play in this game she has a double jump she has her hammers for an insta shield she also can run across the ground with a hammer out as a little bit of a drop dash so we're going to be using that just to our full advantage here and then legging it through the stage We've got the fruit. The fruit get in our way. We're going to try and dodge as many of the fruit as we can using the power of bullet. We're going to go up here six times to run our way across to the top. We're then going to use it to get past the flamboyant tomatoes. Tomatoes? Flamboyant potatoes. I mean the pineapples. If you know John Roberts in the dark room, you know exactly what we're referring to. But I messed that up. So we're going to get past both of them there. That's fine. We're then going to slide down the slide to grab enough rings. Because in this game, even Amy gets the power of super. So we land down here. She gets to be super Amy now. We get to run our way up to the top as we get to leg it over. We make sure we don't hit the bonus stage there because we don't want it. We then jump over these sections here. Making sure we get a high enough jumps to land on the slides. When we get to the slides, we just want to start jumping off them immediately because it gives us a massive burst of speed. You can see that when I actually touch the slides, it gets a little bit slow. But when we do that, it just goes and that is fine for us. So now we just run down here, we land it. That's fine, we landed on the uh, semi-circle platform there, which is slightly unfortunate. But we make it through, we make it down, we make it run, that's up, up to the top and away we go. The go jump up here, allows us to go down to the waterfall here and then down into section two. Now, for the reason that we have to switch from Trip is because at this point in the story, Trip has unfortunately fallen down her own trap that was placed by Fang, and uh, Fang not coming to help her because Fang's a butt. So we're now doing to press the buttons here because we need the two of us to press the buttons together because that is the true power of teamwork. So Yoshi, uh, Yoshi here, uh, Amy finding Trip here being very upset does her best Yoshi impression to bring her over, and the two of them, with their powers combined, can escape this little labyrinth. We do not get to use any emerald powers. We do not get to use any of our uh, super forms. We just got to run our way through. And uh, the, 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 an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So, you know, no boss on this one because literally the apples have kept him away. We don't know where he is. He's not here in this one. So we run our way through. That's the end of that stage. And now Amy and Trip are officially best friends. And they seal the fact that they're best friends with Amy giving Trip an apple. 
Trip goes up to say thank you. We're going to skip the little cutscene though, but in marathons I won't because it's a great wee cutscene. And away we go back to our regularly scheduled Trip gameplay. Trip is indeed precious child. So we're going to run our way through Lagoon City Act 2 now. We're going to run and jump. We're going to make sure we get on the slide here. We're going to jump down, do a baby jump, hopefully not get knocked into the water. We then take the deliberate damage to lose the shield there. We make sure we have enough rings. We need at least 21 when we come out of this area here. And when we come out, we want to make sure we're holding left immediately. That way we don't get hit by the chomper. It looks like you will, but thankfully you don't. So we land on that. Away we go. We can just jump up here. Double jump up and round we go. We're going to grab ourselves the rings that we need by landing down here. Grabbing these last set and away down. This takes us up over this area. We grab that, we grab the shield, and you've guessed it, it's dragon time. So we're gonna go up to the very top of the level once again. About turn on to the left to break the collision. This then allows us to get out of the bounds. Oh, that did not work there. We're gonna get up there. Come on in, there we go. We're gonna line ourselves up so we can see her feet there. Little bit of angle being shown off this time as we go full speedy boost. I then need to focus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 we then drop we hold left a little bit i see this coming down am i in but yes i am that's fine so what we do is we just launch ourselves up here on this one i accidentally dropped a little bit too early but it's fine we just fall down here this should then take me back in bounds i think oh no i didn't fall in bounds yet there we go that's fine not as fast as i wanted it to be but we'll take it it's fine still not as fast as i wanted it to be but i need to count to 11 there and counting to 11 is hard Counting to 11 is hard. Right, off to Sand Sanctuary. We are going to get sand. It's coarse, it's rough, it gets everywhere. But thankfully, this stage is actually one of the easier ones, assuming things go well. Off to the moon we're going to start with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's bullet all the way up to the top here. We're going to make sure we get to the part where we then see the area here. We get our magnet power up. We want to keep a hold of this power up. It is not a shield in this game. It is only a power up. So if you take damage, you will lose the power up. You will also then lose all your rings, which is a really bad thing when you're trying to go fast and do good stuff, you know? So we're just going to run. We're going to jump over the way over here. We're going to make sure we land on the correct pulley to go in the right direction. But then I'm going to come to the snack. The bendy snack is doing bendy snack things. We then land on this again just to pull off as many of these rings as we can. We're going to run. We're going to double jump. We get the 50 immediately, but we're not going to transform into super just yet because we're going to go across this way to get past these walls. The reason for that is because the ceiling does actually move down, and if you're not prepared for it, it can cause a little bit of trouble. So we transform here instead. This allows us to go back to the left, break out of bounds, get our position, and then hopefully get a little tippy toes. Once you see our little tippy toes on this one, it gives you the full speed. You see the game Newman. Do we get through the wall instantly? Nope, we bash our head off it again. Bashing our head off the wall a few times there. Three times is fine. We now use the sand dune in the background there to let us know when we need to drop dune. Get it? Dune dune. Away we go. So now we're going to drop dune there. Hopefully we've done it right and we'll land towards where the capsule is. A little bit too late there, but that's all right. Level is done. Boss is skipped. What boss? I don't know. I'm full of it. Moving through to the next stage now. We're heading off to Press Factory. If you listen carefully and watch carefully, you will see the gimmick already. You hear the slam and she's automatically jumping. There is a giant factory in the background that is on a timer that will slam up and down. The goal here is to get through this level without being knocked around by the factory too much. We're going to make sure we try and do this so you see it there, it slams down. It has the five light timer. Once we get through the five light timer, that lets you know that it's time to go. So we're going to wait here, we're just going to go that one, it knocks us up. That's fine though because we want to actually get through here and hopefully not get bodied by them, even though we did. So we're just going to wait for that to slam down. This is then going to allow me to run on this one, which allows us to just run through here two three four five jump that's perfect timing there this then allows me to spin dash across here to grab the last set of rings we need we're gonna leg it up this one hopefully get a jump we did not get the jump off that we needed unfortunate ideally you can get a ramp jump there which is really really good but unfortunately we didn't get it today that's fine you see the bounce there coming off of this one this might be okay in time for me to do this i just need to make sure we get off that in time the reason for that is if that slams you while you are stuck to a wall with trip glip the game will just turn around and say no not today and knock you down we don't want to get knocked down to get past ceiling number one. We then come to ceiling number two, and we want to see a little bit of her ankle again on this one, I think. So there you go. There's the speed boost there. But it doesn't look like we have the speed boost on this level because for some reason, the ceiling is a little bit broken. Um, we are still going at super speed. We are still going to go through the walls, as you see there. It just doesn't quite look like it. So as long as we can go through these walls and we can get through wall number two, wall number three, then we're going to go through, we're going to head towards the boss area here. Then we fall down and that is the end of the stage. The stage is complete. That is what we want to see. Accidentally hitting that, that's all right. I find the manager box under there as well. Okie dokie.
So now we're going to go into act number two. We've skipped over almost every single boss in the game, or basically I have skipped over every single boss in the game right now. You see there, Act Fruit as well. Act Fruit is another non-mandatory stage. It is a bonus stage where you spend the time grabbing loads of fruit to get loads of points, to get loads of medals for the multiplayer. We don't need any of those as well. So we're now going to go through to Press Factory Act 2. We're going to run our way through. This stage is a timer-based stage. It is a cycle-based stage. It is timered based on the fat oh, you bum game. That is not good at all. Okay, let's see if we can land up there. And if we don't get squished by this, I'm going to go through it. That's fine. Believe it or not, that didn't actually lose me any time because of how the cycles work on this one. We're then going to come down here. We're going to go through that one. This is losing me a little bit of time, but that's fine. So we're going to go through. We're going to come up here. We're going to make sure that this thing does not activate the explosions because if the explosions go off, we then instantly die because you do not get to pass go. You do not get invincibility. You do not get to collect 200 rings, which is a shame because 200 rings would be really useful about now. We're going to run our way up here. We're going to jump through. That should actually maybe allow me. I'm not going to risk it. I could maybe have tried to get through there, but if I was a little bit too late, I would have got crushed, which would have been bad. We're going to trip clip our way through the wall again. This stage is split into three sequences. We are currently in sequence number one. We're going to break out of sequence number one and not use the rocket to head to sequence number two. Why? Because I'm a dragon. Dragons don't need to use rockets. We're going to then fly our way out of bounds here. I don't have to worry about any kill planes on this one because the ceiling is there to save my bacon. But in area number two here, I do have to be safe that we don't actually get hit by any. So we hit this one, we then break ourselves out of bounds. We're then going to go back up and through. I'm going to make sure, however, that I don't go too high just in case we do hit some of those invisible kill planes. Running our way across now, we're above the area with the ceiling, which is fine. I'm going to go up just a little bit more. That way we don't clip back into bounds because if I untransform, I do not have the ability to retransform. If you keep an eye in the background, though, you will see that the countdown is beginning on this. This guy's being a little bit of a pain, except for my light because now he's gone. We're now going to fly all the way up because this is taking us into Section 3, which is where the boss fight is meant to be. And Section 3 is a giant rocket ride that takes you all the way all the way up to the top of the building. As you can see, here's the building here. We're just flying all the way up to the very, very tippy top of it. And once we get up here, we're going to fly across to building number 2. From building number 2, we're going to untransform, we're going to double jump, and then we're going to skip over where the boss is supposed to be. Just like that. Other characters can also do this thanks to the power of bullet. So a lot of these skips, while they may look like they are trip only, they are not. Some of the other characters are also able to do very similar things with this. So we are going to go through. We're going to run into the late game now. Oh, we're coming to the worst stage in the game that has been taking my runs and throwing them on the ground. Welcome to Golden Capital. Golden Capital is another kind of pinball-based stage. There's a load of rings. There's rings galore. It's amazing. But the rings galore are not enough to save this stage. We've got so much pinball physics in that on this one that we want to try and do the least amount of them as possible by being in dragon form and hopefully avoiding them. So we have a whole bunch of everything that we need to do. I'm going to be dragging as quickly as I can and making sure I can hit the ground. Because if I hit the ground, they can't bounce me around too much. Then on the flipper, we don't activate the flipper. We switch back to dragon and just fly because god damn it, there's so much. We then untransform because we're going to go and use drill as we run our way through here. So we got the mash on the drill. We run our way through. We're going to go down here. We then jump and transform immediately. This allows us to clip back into the area we just came from to head over into the background shenanigans. So we're going to do foreground layer, background layer shenanigans. We let her jump up and we run through. This is because we line ourselves up here to just do AA and away we go. The AA is a car company. She is not a car. She is a dragon. We're going to run our way through here. We're going to go across this section. Immediately hit left and fall down because that saves us to this one. Press the jump button halfway down it so we don't have to worry too much. Press the jump button here. I come through this. If that's going to make me fall down, that's fine. We then land on that. We get a little bit more rings. Cool. Let's go for it. Final section. We come through. We hit that. One, two, and three. We wait. We hit that. We come down. We land it. We then drop down. This allows us to then get out of trip form really quickly and then fall down. So if I just do this and then just hold the button to mash... I went down a little bit too quickly there, but we only got two of them, which is fine. We're now going to go into Dragon Form. Dragon Form is going to allow us to come all the way up through the ceiling here. We go a little bit further up. Once we pass the enemy, we drop down. This double jumps there. Those platforms are really important because they are now going to become ceilings. We've now flipped the level on its head. We're going to jump and use that platform that we just had to clip out of bounds. But because the level is now flipped upside down, we want to go left instead of right. So we're going to go and fly all the way over to the left-hand side here, line ourselves up with where the end of the level is going to spawn, which is right below that giant Twizzler here. As we then come through, we come through, we hit that, and bam! The stage is done. And even though we were moving right, left, we went to the right-hand side, we fell down. This is going to allow us to activate the next stage really quickly. So we now go through, we hit the buttons there, we mash it, we come down, Act 2 is done. As we're going to run our way through the section, we're going to come into 
the golden capital two. This is the stage where I have a ridiculous amount of time saved. We are coming through because Knuckles has lost the emeralds. Fang has stolen them. So now we have no power-ups for Trip. We have no dragon. We have no bullet. But we do have Trip's basic abilities. We have the double jump. We have the ability to just leg it through this and have a grand old time. We're going to make sure we use our abilities to stay on ceilings, flip ourselves up, get ourselves through these areas as quickly as we can without getting bodied, ideally. The game, however, may have different ideas. So we're using the pinballs. We're using the flippers because this game is a bit of a troll like that. Run our way through. We get the bounce up there, which is nice. We get this one here as well. It's not quite giving me what I'm looking for, so we're going to fall down. We hit this one. That's cool. And the bubble actually saving me. Thank you, bubble. We're going to land ourselves up in this section. Again, that's what I mean by this not giving you the protection that you need. We then grab on this. This allows me to then grab on that, but it's being a butt. So I grab on it. We wait. We jump off. This allows us to go up here and see if it's going to be merciful or if it's going to be a troll. The answer is it's being a bit of a troll, but thankfully we got away with it. We're going to run down to the bottom side. Now we come to our auto scroller. We're going to run, jump, and grab onto the ceiling. And after two hits, we're going to make sure we jump down. So we jump off that just to grab that, puts us back on the ceiling. Allows us to run across the auto scroller and section here without me having to actually worry about doing said auto scroller. And then that auto scroller is now finished. Thank you for playing. We're going to double jump over loop number one. We're going to hit the spring to get over loop number two. Landing on the platform is beautiful. We're then going to spin dash, jump our way off this. We're going to land on these buttons to hopefully not get bodied. Land on this, see if the game's going to be nice to me and give me the flipper. It did not. We flip up here. <gasps> that was so good. We're then going to run our way through the rest of the stage. Going to be up the top on this one. It's maybe going to make up for the mistakes that it did on the last run that cost us the sub 40. We're running our way through now. We're going to jump around here. We're going to come in and do a baby jump on this one. Double jump over so we can land on this. We come down. We don't get hit by the scyther, but that's fine. We got hit by the scyther. I still have rings, so it doesn't matter because we're going to take a deliberate death anyway. Running our way across here, we're getting a 135 checkpoint. We're going to take a deliberate death at this section because we need to get out of here ASAP. The downside is I have activated the, uh, the thing and then the rings are still grabbing me. I don't want the rings, but at least the lava is activated and hopefully it will stay deactivated. We now need to do a full jump hold left to break the rest of the game. Let's see how this works. We're going to run off the edge here and do full jump hold left and see if I can get it. Oh my god, first time! Okay, we're now going to spin dash on the auto scroller and we have broken the auto scroller because it's moving at a faster pace than we were looking for. We actually got the full jump hold left first time, which is what we were looking for. This breaks the auto scroller section for us. That's where the boss arena is. We do not want to go in there. Instead, we're going to get this amazing shiny blue background that is going to allow us to just run all the way across up to where the end of the boss is with the capsule. Any character can do this as well. We want to wait until a pipe comes on the stage. That is our visual cue to know to let go of right and start holding up. Then we have another visual cue, which is when we go into the building, as long as we are in line with the left leg, we should be fine. I need to make sure I do not jump because if I jump and land back on this platform, it will take us right back to the start of the auto scroller and it's the end of the run. We are in a perfect position right now. We should be good to go. I can't believe I managed to get the clip first time there. That is super fast. That is super good. And with a decent stage, this is the opposite of the last run, at least on this level. We want to jump. We want to hit that. It's fine. You're going to see a quick preview of what happens if you re-land on the platform while we try and skip the cutscene. We're going to hold the button to skip it because if I leave that running, we will just die. So you see that? You hit it all the way back down. Away you go. But we do not want to take a death because if you die, I send you back to the checkpoint. We are now running through. It is time for the late game even more. It's Cyber Station. Let's go! Come on, Ark. We can do this. I did a little bit too strong of a spin dash there, but that's fine because we need to grab 50 rings anyway. So we're going to run our way through. Hopefully we can get, oh baby, a triple with our clips here. As we run away through the cyber station, we want to jump onto our lovely little rail sections here. Our little, uh, I don't know what I call them these days. We're going to roll and land on that. That's fine. We jump down, we grab these. This gives me that. We then jump up here. This gives me enough rings that we need to not worry about grabbing down here, which is good. So we run through that. We grab that. We run through there. One, two, three. Jump that. Do the insta clip. This is fine. We didn't get the insta clip because the jump height wasn't there. What I can do though is I can just move left. That allows me to break the collision and in we go. We're now going to run our way through the rest of the stage here. It's going to skip this section. We come out. We're going to jump onto our little monorail light again. We grab these rings. We jump up. Monorail. Once it comes under the building here, we jump out into the secret tunnel through the mountain. Hit the green bouncy spring. The green bouncy spring takes us up to another monorail, which takes us to our rings. We jump out of our rings here. We then jump attached to the ceiling. We then immediately jump and get the clips. Will it give us the wall? It did not give us the wall immediately. Let's hope we get through one. Give us through two. Give us through number three as well. 
No, we did not get through number three, but we got it on the second attempt. So we did not quite get a triple, but that's fine. We're now coming down to line ourselves up. We do not quite want to go inbounds here. We want to wait and see the level moving itself down. So then we line ourselves up once again when we come down to this section. This is the rocket section coming up. I'm a little bit too low down, so we're just going to about turn to line ourselves back up. You can see when we get the super speed, we just go Newman faster than the rocket transformation. And we just leg it through there one, through wall number one. Through wall number two instantly. This allows us to stop at wall number three and then head up above the boss arena. We should be going into the boss arena right now. This is where you would see your battle mode buddy if you actually did it. We are now just going to fly straight across towards the end of the stage here. I have 14 rings left to my name. It might not be enough. So I'm going to prepare myself with my backup strat of bullet. So we're going to come through on this section just to make sure we're looking for the buildings there to let go. Oh no, we should be fine. If I just drop down now, it should be good. Yes! We did not run out of rings! No bullet required! Okay, two more sets of stages arc. You can do this! You can do this, buddy! We are heading off to Act 1 of Frozen Base. I need to be very careful with ring count here. There is one specific area I need to not take damage. Let's see if we can do it. We're going to run our way through. We're going to have bullet primed and ready to go just in case. We're legging out on this one. We roll, we jump, we get the double jump. That allows us to get over here. We hit that one to activate this to blue. We hit the top one to activate that one to blue. We then jump off the wall and then use bullet three times. Bullet three times puts us right in line with those rings, which is nice. Running our way through this section, this is where I have to be a little bit focused and not hit off the thing. Do you know what? I'm going to just play it super safe because I'm I'm a coward, so I'm going to do this, jump, and then do that. I'm a coward, I'm a chicken, but it's better to play it safe than lose a lot of time. We're then going to come through here. I'm going to wait for this Orbanaut to get out of my way because he's a little bit of a troll. This allows me to get the rings that we need for super speed. We're going to run across that one, grab the rings there. I need to grab one ring there, and then we head up to the top side. This is going to give me, I am one ring short. I'm going to go down the bottom and grab it. Oh, I'm not panicking. You're panicking. I'm very much panicking. We're just going to go straight up to the top here because Ark needs to get up to the top and not lose the time here. We might lose a little bit of time or at the very least lose the time save that we're going to get, but we're going to go up to the top and the run still continues, which is fine. So we're going to go through. We're going to line ourselves up. I believe this one is tippy toes. It is tippy toes. So we're going to go through on this section. Now, you just see our tippy toes. We're going to get through the wall. Hopefully, we get through the wall instantly. We did not. But we got through the second time, which is fine. Then suddenly, the magic wall disappears, unfortunately, because it went really high above the level again. So we're now into the section where we're supposed to be in the boss arena, but we are not going to do that anytime soon. We're going to make sure we line up where the boss arena should be. We can see by the trees here that we know that we're in it. You can see just at the bottom of the screen there, that is where the cave is. We then just drop down once we get past that wall, and where we go, we finish the stage. Not as fast as we've done it before, but I'll take it because it means we're not getting as much time loss. Inner stage number two is the only stage in the game that is not broken. It is a little bit of a chill section, but last run we did, we managed to lose 15 seconds. Let's not do that again. Coming up into the mini game, what mini game is it? Sega loves putting references to other games within their games recently. Which game is this? Did you play this game as a kid? Do you know what one it is? If you do, let us know in the comment section what game this is. As we're going to run our way through, we're going to drop the bombs, we're going to drop the bullets, just to make sure we take out as many of them as we can, as quickly as we can. And then the stage loops around for us as well. So we're going to go through, we're going to come in, we take that out really quickly, which is nice. Trying to make sure we hit everything as quickly as we possibly can. As we did get a couple of good ones there too. Allows us to run through and that is it, job done. We should now get taken up to space hopefully and not get hit by those bullets. So away we go up to the bosses. The only two bosses in the game that we actually do because we haven't found a way to skip them yet. We have no emerald powers. We have no other abilities. We don't actually know how to skip these ones. Someone, if you can help us find skips for this boss, please do. Oh, that was a good two phase. I'll take a two cycle on that. That was nice. Now we get phase two on this. So let's see if we can get through phase two really quickly here. We want to make sure we don't get hit by that boss until it's ready to start. Once it's ready to start, we then need to hold the rings. The rings are the main important thing here because we keep that ring for the damage boost. I am not going to make the same mistake of not doing the damage boost anymore. I'm just going to stay up in this corner because I tried to change it up and do the other ones. That went really well. I'll take a 105 any day. Let's go! Two levels remain. No bosses are left. This is it, Arg. This is it. It is do or die. My two favorite stages are coming up. They are so fun to do, but they are so hard. Let's fingers crossed. We do not do it wrong. Welcome to Egg Fortress. 
So we're going to charge a spin dash. We're going to grab the bullet. We're going to do the skip at the start here. We're going to jump over lasers. Making sure we then take out laser number one. Laser number two. After laser number three, it's instant spin dashes and the clip. Spin dash, spin dash, clip. You did not do it. That's fine. So instead, I jumped because I mashed the start button there. But that's fine. It's only a couple of seconds of time loss. We can still redo it. Come on, Argy. You got this, buddy. We're going to run our way through. We're going to save the time. We're going to do it and everything will be fine. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit you there. We're going to hit you here. We're then going to hit you here. We then spin dash, spin dash in. Go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one. I'm going to do that one just in case and then do that. And we're in. Let's go. Okay, we're now going to navigate our way through the rest of the stage. That skips area number one. We're going to grab these rings. As we grab these rings, we're going to make sure we take no damage here. That's just spawn. That's fine. We're going to double jump our way through this area. Get these rings on this section. That's fine. I still have bullet to bring me up. Bullet, bring me up. That's fine. I'm going to wait for the fire there. The fire's already gone. That's fine. We're going to run our way through it. I missed a ring on that section, but that's okay. We're going to see if we can do gravity skip now to take us to the gravity area. But we need to see if the game's going to be nice. I don't think it's going to get me out here, but we'll see. It did not. That's okay. So we'll go do the backup strat now. Do not panic, Ark. Do not panic. You, you've got this. So we wait for Trip to land on that. I push her over to the left a little bit. Nope, a little bit further to this, the right there. And then when she does the bounce and she stops moving, we can do... Oh, she grabbed it. That's unfortunate. Okay, come on, Trip. Come on. Bouncy, bouncy. Nope. She's still moving too far. Nope. I need her not to be moving left or right. I need her to have no momentum whatsoever, basically. No. Yes. Okay, we got it. It's a little bit slower, but we got it. This warps us to this null point. That's really, really important. So we got through there. It's not as fast as we've done the stage before, but it's fine. I'm also really low on rings here, unfortunately. So we're going to grab the nine up here. That gives me 49. This gives me the part here, which gives me the 53. I'm deliberately going to go over this side. So we're not going to get the super fast time that we normally get, but it's okay unless we can drag in our way all the way up the top here. I need to be very, very careful with how high I go though, because once again, the level's geometry changes. It's like a giant diagonal shape. And right now I am in the wrong part of it. So I need to make sure that we go to the right segment and then we don't die. So we want to come up here past this section. And then once we do that, we want to go up two. So we want to go up one and we want to go up two. This is fine. Getting clipped back in bounds is not the end of the world. I then have to be very careful here. And I want her belly just to stay right where it is. Because if I go any higher, that's where the kill plane is. And we end this run immediately. It's enough to stay out of bounds, but it's enough to keep us there as well. I am going to use bullet backup on this because if I don't use bullet backup, we are probably going to die. And we do not want to die. We do not want to fall in bounds. We do not want to die. We're going to pass by the final gravity room, which is good. And then we're going to leg it over here. Yep. So that's just fine. We're going to then switch to bullet, immediately start bullying our way across. Then as I see the level start loading in again, I should be able to fall down through a wall and we should be good to go. That's it. End of level. We're done. Nice. Not as fast as we've done before, which is fine. But we can still run it. We can still take it. Taking the death there and then not being able to go through it. It's not grand, but we're okay. So we're just going to wait and we're going to hold it and we're going to see if we have enough. Oh. We just need to run through the stage here. He is now activating his big anti-time reversal gravity machine where time is now going in reverse. Platforms that were moving down are now going to be going back up. We've got enemies that were destroyed are now respawning. We need to get our way through this and we need to do it in style. We also need to make sure we skip the final boss. This is the last level in the run. It is also where time is coming up. So we're going to go through and then we are going to go in. We're going to come around here. This platform is going to move up. We ain't going to move up with it. We're going to clip through so we don't go. Then we're going to grab the 10 ring box that's up here alongside the three rings that are down. We're aiming to get 50 rings ASAP. So we're running our way through this section to go all the way across here. We've got to wait for these platforms all to come back up. The problem is if you go too fast, you run into invisible walls that then cause you to hit spikes and things all happen. Running our way through now, we're going to go back up. We're going to go into the top here. This actually skips a trigger to cause these lovely rockets to activate. We're then going to fall down, not get hit by the spikes, which is wonderful. We're then going to jump through this area that you didn't get to see last time. Don't worry about it. And then we're going to run our way across. The fire is not activated, which is nice. We're going to jump down and grab there. We're going to take out that enemy. We're then going to try and do the spin dash jump system here if the game gives me it. It did not. So we're going to do our backup strat immediately and see if we can set ourselves up. So we're going to wait. We're going to bounce on her and see if we can just line her up. There you go. Good backup. We're going to land over here. We're going to go once. And we're going to land on the ceiling. We're going to go down. Twice hit that jump. This gives me that. We're then going to run and jump over here. I almost got blown up by that, which would have been really bad. But we're okay. I'm going to miss those last two rings. It's fine. We're going to go up to the top because we'll get the rings in here. We're then going to go up to the top section. I'm going to make sure I deliberately wait for this platform to move up because I am not getting squished again. 
We got squished last time. It was really bad. It actually ended my run. I was upset. We're going to run our way through with the dragon. We're going to go through now up to the top section. I'm going to make sure we don't go all the way over until we get to this wall. This then lets me go in the bounce here. Oh, that was a zip there. Don't do the zip. That's fine. We then run our way through. We go up to the second one here. This allows me to stay out of bounds. We then start dropping down because this skips the gravity segment for us. We then want to make sure we end up inbounds and we see the level geometry again because what falling it down does is it allows us to make sure we avoid the death plane. So we're going to go all the way through here now and we're going to get to the ceiling that lines us up very nicely to do the final clip of the run. Here's the final clip of the run. We are now heading towards the end of the game. I have 20 rings. It is plenty. I just need to make sure we do this right. That way we can finish this stage. There is no boss. We're going to line up. We're just going to fall down his dragon because I'm playing it safe. And there we go. That's the run. It's done. That is time. And that is definitely sub 40. Let's go! Yes! Look at that! 38, 57! Woo! We got it! I told you we could do it! We even skipped the 39! Sub 40 from a 40, 10 to a 38, 57! Woo! That's what you want to see! That is the skill you are looking for, Ark. Well done, buddy! Look at that! Our Egg Fortress won. We lost 45 seconds on. So this run can go even lower. It can go even lower. We're gonna try and get it even lower, but I have hit the goal that I wanted to do. Let's go! That's what you wanna see! Sub 40! Marathon style commentary. Hopefully a fun video for you all to watch as well. This is what you want to see. I am very, very happy about this. Oh, this is so getting uploaded to YouTube because I am submitting this to as many speedrun marathons as I can as well. To those of you who have watched this, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were on the edge of your seat watching the timer as we were doing the clips. I am very proud of this. I have been wanting this all week long and we finally got it as well i am super happy about this also just for speedrun verification purposes that is a 3857 rta the loadless time is 3733 it's even faster there you go how do we like them apples the answer is i like these apples very much the apples are very very good yes Oh, but thank you very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you think of the run in general. Remember, I asked the question, what is that level that Flying by Base 2, that Frozen Base 2 is actually meant to do? I can't even say words now. I'm just so happy. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Sonic speedruns, Sonic challenges, and all that jazz, and maybe some indie games or two. And if you're, oh, just, yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button, just come and join. I'm so happy. Yes! See you in the next video, whatever video it may be. Let's go!